Hello everyone, my name is Arush Kutela. I'm a functional consultant with Western Computer, and today I'm going to show you a new feature within the Asset Management module. First, to ensure that you have access to this, let's go to the Feature Management Workspace. You can find that under System Administration, and under All, we're going to search for the word Counter under Feature Name, and we have this Counter-Based Maintenance Enhancements. You will need to enable this feature. You can do this down below. Mine is already enabled, hence why I don't have that button, but you will need to make sure you have this active. So what are counters? Counters are numeric based tracking on assets. So if I go into my asset management here and I go to my all assets, what you can see is I've set up one called car and within car, I have a counter which is called miles. And so you can see on my first reading, we had 32,000 miles and my second, we had 58,000 miles. What I'm going to show you today is how we can have the system automatically create work orders whenever a counter reaches 50,000 miles or any multiple of that. So then we're going to have the system automatically say do an inspection or do a tune up every 50,000 miles. So how do I set that up? Well, that exists under setup as a maintenance plan. So I'm going to go and I'm going to create a maintenance plan. I will call this a vehicle. I'll start the planning date as of the beginning of the year. I'll mark this as active. And what we need to do is we need to add an asset counter line. So I'll call this a vehicle 50K. And my job type will be of inspection. And what I'm going to do under the interval type is I'm going to choose repeated on aggregate value. Note that these last two options will only be available whenever you have that new feature turned on. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to say 50,000. And I'm going to say my counter is miles. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to automatically create a work order and my work order type is preventative. Then I have to say which asset does this work on? And I'm going to go in and I'm going to pick my car. OK, so I've set up my maintenance plan. Now we need to actually execute this. This is done under a periodic job, under preventative maintenance, schedule maintenance plans. And now this, by the way, can be run in batch, so you don't need to do this manually. You can just set up your maintenance plan and have it run. What I would normally do is I would have the frequency set to a month, and then I just have the batch job run every month. In this case, you can see I've filtered it to only run for my maintenance plan vehicle, and I'm going to go ahead and click OK. Now I'm letting this job run. Normally you get the please wait sign, but in this part, it doesn't happen. You can see I've gotten my alert. And if I look at my all work orders, you can see here is my preventative vehicle 50K and we have that configured. If we look that in, you can see it's on my car. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my car and I'm gonna add another reading. And in fact, I will do that, say miles and just to, Keep our demo going. I'm going to say we got to 102,000 miles. So you can see our readings are getting steadily and steadily larger. So now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to run my maintenance periodic job again. And because nothing's changed, I'm still running it for just this one maintenance plan. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to press OK. And there we got our ding. And we can see now that I have a second work order as well. And of course, by this point, this work order would have probably already been completed. You would have assigned it to someone and so on and so forth. And now we have a second work order. But this is the advantage of the new feature, which allows you to do a repetitive maintenance as opposed to just a one time crossing of a threshold. I hope you found this video helpful. Thank you so much for watching.